Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well today. For today's video, we're going to be checking out the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. So I'm going to be giving y'all my first impression when I apply the foundation and we're going to be doing a wear test today. So I actually already did my intro. I filmed it before I started putting the makeup on, but I decided to redo it so that y'all can see the finished product now, or at least the finished product before I start the wear test. <laughs> because you will see when I start applying this that this is a little too light for me so there are parts of the routine where I do look kind of ghostly so I didn't want y'all to get alarmed by that so I wanted y'all to see how I went from first applying it to getting it to look like this so let's jump right into it so I can show y'all what I'm talking about so this is the new elf camo cc cream and i believe this is only available on elf's website i don't think this is available in stores yet but this is a medium to full coverage color correcting cream and it's supposed to give you a natural finish it comes in 20 shades and it's 14 dollars. i do think 14 dollars is a bit pricey for this because it's elf but i think their skincare seems to be a bit more pricey than their makeup so maybe because they're calling this a CC cream as opposed to a foundation maybe like the justification is that it's more like skincare but I feel like this is basically a foundation so I just think $14 is kind of up there for this being an elf product now a lot of people are saying because of the packaging and also because of the claims that the product is making that maybe this is supposed to be a dupe for the it cosmetics CC cream I've never tried that but I was really curious curious about this. So before we get into application, I do want to share with you my plight, so to speak, on trying to get a shade for this one. So like I said, it comes in 14 shades and usually I have really bad experiences with else complexion products i have a few of their well i have one of their foundations i have a few of their concealers and i even have a setting powder for them and i feel like every time i try a complexion product from elf it just always looks really gray and dull on me i feel like they just don't get the undertones right for my complexion so with that being said when i was looking at the swatches online and we all know that looking at swatches online sometimes they can be deceiving but when i was looking at the swatches online Online. I was looking at shades medium 310C and tan 415C because those are both my undertones but it looks like one of them would be too light and the other one would be too dark and like I said I feel like elf's products they always look really great on me so I was thinking even if I got both and mixed them together that's still not gonna make a difference because maybe they're still gonna look gray but also I just didn't want to buy two of them because like I said they're $14 $14 isn't like a whole lot of money, but I just feel like that's a whole lot for e.l.f. So I really didn't want to buy two um, different shades. I was also looking at medium 375N, even though that's a neutral undertone. I'm thinking that maybe that's a shade that I can work with. So I decided to use the shade finder that they have on their website and I asked them to match me based on my Fenty foundations first. So in Fenty, I mixed 340 and 380. Now 340 I can wear by itself, especially now with like we haven't really gotten a lot of sunlight light this year and now like the weather is getting colder I could probably do 340 on its own I usually mix these two together but if I try to wear 380 on its own it'll be just a tad too dark for me so I asked the shade finder to match me up to 340 and Fenty and they did match me with 375 and so I'm thinking okay I'll probably get that because I was looking at that shade anyway but then I asked them to match me to 380c and I forgot which one they told me but it was one of the 500 ones and I was like no that was that's gonna be like way too dark I also asked them to match me to L'Oreal true match in C6 and they couldn't give me a match for this one so I decided to get um, 375 n based on this match I wish I had thought to also check for my NYX can't stop won't stop foundation because that's a really good shade match for me unfortunately I just wasn't thinking about that so with all of that being said I decided to get 
get the shade 375 in. So when I got the box and I'm looking at it, I'm immediately thinking this is going to be way too light. However, this strip of color here on the packaging, that's not the actual product that you're looking at that's like painted onto the packaging. So I'm hoping that it's not actually this color. Maybe it's a little bit darker, but we'll see. So with all of that being said, I'm going to be trying out 375 in. Oh, and one thing I meant to tell y'all, I threw away the box, but just in case you're, you could use me as a shade reference or you're thinking about getting 375 in, it doesn't say it on the packaging. On the packaging, it just says 375 in, but on the box, it said for this shade that it's a neutral pink undertone so keep that in mind if you're a neutral undertone or if you're a pink undertone just keep that in mind this is a neutral pink so i don't know if that's the case for all of the neutral ones but it is for this one Okay, so when I shake this up, I don't hear anything moving. I'm just gonna massage the package a little bit just to get the ingredients kind of like flowing and meshing together in here. I just woke up, like it's really early for me to be filming and I feel like you can hear it in my voice, but <laughs> just know that I just woke up, haven't had coffee or anything yet. Okay, I love the fact that this has a pump on it that'll make it very easy to apply. So I'm just gonna start, before I put it on my face, let's do a little um, hand swap watch so that actually looks pretty promising so far haven't blended it out yet it does look a little bit light but I feel like I can work with this okay so that's the shade blended out next to my face let me give y'all a close-up of the swatch I actually think that I'll be able to use this. So putting it up against my face, it does look light and I can tell that it's lighter than all of the other foundations that I wear. But what I like about this is it has a good amount of pink in it and that's a really good sign because I do have a pink undertone. So like if a foundation is too light or too dark for you, you can work with it by like adding like more brightening concealer or maybe using like a darker setting powder, maybe some more bronzer to offset it being too light or too dark. But if your undertone is wrong, you can't really do anything about that. So I feel like this will be a little bit lighter, but again, I feel like I can work with it so we'll try it out and if I do really like it, maybe I will go and get a deeper shade and a neutral undertone. All right, so I'm going to be starting off with about that much. That's about a half a pump and I feel like I'm going to blend this out with a sponge. So I usually do like thicker foundations. I blend it out with a sponge, thinner ones. I go in with a brush. So I feel like with this consistency, I'm going to blend out with my Sonia Kashuk sponge. So I'm just going to start. And yes, it does look really light right now, but it actually doesn't look really light, but it's you can, you can tell that it's lighter than my skin tone. But just remember that we can fix that with other things down the line. So first impression, I do like the way that it's blending out. I do think that it's giving me medium coverage. I think it's blending out really nicely, actually. And I will say that with this being a neutral undertone, this looks better on me than any cool toned complexion product that I've ever tried from e.l.f. Like it's making me think like I have that other foundation from e.l.f. It's like a the six dollar foundation. I forget what it's called. I got it in a cool undertone. Maybe I should just try like a slightly deeper shade, but also a neutral tone in that foundation because that one just looks super gray on me. Okay, so before I go to the other side, we can clearly tell that it's too light for me, but let's not focus solely on that. So I do think that it's giving me medium coverage, but I'm going to say maybe like light to medium coverage because I feel like medium coverage, it would give me a little bit more coverage had I used a brush. Like a sponge is just going to automatically sheer out your product. But I think it looks good aside from the shade. Like I love the way that it blended out. It looks really nice and smooth on my skin. And it has like a slight radiance to it, I'm going to say. I like it so far. 
So let's do the other side. And I usually don't do this, but I feel like let's try a brush on the other side. Okay, I don't have the new e.l.f. brush that they came out with, so I'm going to use my old one. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This isn't my typical foundation brush. I'm just using it because it's e.l.f. So let's try a brush over here. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely getting a little more coverage with a brush, but that's to be expected. Even though a brush will give you more coverage with consistencies like this, like when a foundation is pretty thick like this, my preference would still be to go in with a sponge and just build up the coverage as much as I need to. I just don't like blending out like thick foundations with brushes. That's just my personal preference. But yeah, you definitely get more coverage with a brush. I know I look super ghostly right now, <laughs> but we'll fix that. So let's not, let's not focus on that. <laughs> I actually like it. I feel like my face looks nice and radiant. It's kind of hard. I feel like on camera, it's kind of hard for you guys to appreciate it as much as I can because I can tell that I look super ghostly. But in terms of like the, the product, the way it's sitting on my face, I do really like it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more and then we'll just stick with the brush just because the brush is giving us a little more coverage but we're gonna see if this product builds up it's supposed to be buildable medium to full coverage okay so I feel like on this side of my face I have the equivalent of like maybe one and a half pumps on here not quite two full pumps and I don't think that I'm getting full coverage but remember I did blend out that first layer with my sponge over here. If I had blended out the first layer with the brush I probably would be getting even more coverage but I will say that it is buildable because it's definitely covering up more with that second layer. Okay so over here we have a good like I'm gonna say pump and a half over here Whereas over here we have like maybe like a half a pump. So I would definitely consider it buildable. So I'm going to put more over here just so that we're even on both sides. Okay, and this is what we are looking like so far. And aside from me looking like a ghost. I mean, I feel like I look like a ghost with like radiant, smooth skin right now. So <laughs> I like it so far. Let me know what y'all think. I, I feel like it's just going to be really hard for y'all to get past how light it is on my face. But let me know what y'all think. Okay, so normally when I test out complexion products, I like to show y'all on camera how the rest of my base products are working with the foundation. So I'm going to use my go-to um, concealer, but I think I might switch up the setting powders a little bit just because the foundation is pretty light. But let's go in with some concealer first. So I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Mocha. just gonna blend out on my chin and my forehead first I feel like if I do decide to get this in another shade though I'm probably gonna have to wait until well I was gonna say I would have to wait until they're available in stores but that might not make a difference because you can't really see the product because like I said this little swatch of color here that's not the actual product so I still wouldn't really be able to see it in the stores but yeah, as you can see, I'm definitely going to need like a darker, a darker color. Okay, I did my brows off camera while I was letting this concealer sit. So now I'm just going to finish blending out my concealer. I'm going to set my concealer with my pretty vulgar setting powder. This is the one that I actually haven't been using this one lately, but... This is like my most used setting powder for sure.
Okay, so normally I would set the rest of my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And I think I am going to try this, but if I feel like I still need a little more color added to my face, then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Powder Foundation slash Setting Powder. But let me just try this one first, just to see, because just adding the concealer did bring like a little bit of color back to my face. So I'm going to go in with this first. First, just to see and I would rather use this just because it is a lighter it's gonna be like a lighter coverage I don't want to put like too too much on top of the foundation so let's see what this one looks like and I still have to add bronzer too so that will also give me some color okay yeah I think I'm gonna stick with this powder for today so this is what my base is looking like and it definitely looks better because I've added my concealer and some of that setting powder and I feel like my face looks really nice. Like I like the way that this foundation is laying on my face. I know that they're calling it a CC cream but th this is basically a foundation but I really like it so far. I mean I do think that maybe i could have built up the coverage just a little bit more over here but remember this is the side where i did the first layer with the sponge so the coverage just wasn't going to be as much as using it with a brush but i mean overall i think i do really like it like first impression wise i do want to get the foundation in another shade that will work better with me but i really like it so far i usually do the rest of my makeup off camera at this point when i'm doing a foundation review but because i do feel like what I'm putting on my face is gonna help like alter the color I want y'all to see like what I'm doing so I'm gonna also do my blush and bronzer on camera may not make too much of a difference but I just feel like it's better for y'all to just see like what what colors I'm adding to my face so I'm gonna go in with my note cosmetics bronzer I mean blush this is in the shade desert rose and I like to add my blush kind of like right behind the apple of my cheeks and then I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer this one is in the shade 3 number 3 tan so this will definitely be another product that will help to bring some life back into my face and I do feel like I'm gonna be adding a little bit more bronzer than I normally would because I just feel like I need it with this light foundation So I feel like that definitely looks better with the bronzer added in. I feel like my face looks more like back to normal now. I'm also just going to throw some bronzer right into the crease of my eyes. I'm not doing eyeshadow today. I'm just giving myself a little bit of color up here as well. I'm going to do my um, mascara and my lipstick off camera and I'll be right back. All right, this is my finished look for today and I like doing like really simplistic looks when I'm testing out a foundation because I think it helps us to stay focused on the face and not get distracted by the eyes and the lips. So I just did like a really simple look for today. So this is what we are looking like. And just like I said before, I think that um, my setting powder, my um, bronzer, of course, even my blush, like all of that stuff helped to add color back into my face. So yes, the foundation is definitely too light for me but I can obviously you know work with it but so far I do feel like I want to go and get it in another shade because first impression wise I do really like the way it's looking on my face the first thing I'm noticing everything that I put on my face creases on my forehead like crazy and I am getting some creasing in my forehead but not nearly as much as I normally get that's the first positive thing that I'm noticing outside of just like generally speaking I'm liking the way that my face looks um, I do feel feel like around my mouth that it's still looking a tad bit ashy like let me go in with just a little bit more of this setting powder around my mouth but you know overall I really like the way that this is looking so far I'm actually going to use the brush that I used to apply my bronzer because that'll have like leftover bronzer on it but I just feel like right up in here still looking a little ghostly but generally speaking, I'm happy with the way that I was able to work that out. And I think that's because of all of that pink 
undertone in this shade. Where's the where's the foundation? Oh, here it is. I always lose stuff that's like right in front of me. But yeah, like I said, when I swatch this on the back of my hand, it has a lot of pink in it. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting a neutral shade. Again, I don't know if that's for all the neutral shades or just for 375. And I can guarantee you if I had gotten one of those cool tones, it would just be very gray and I just wouldn't be able to work with it. So I'm liking it so far. So we're going to be doing a wear test for today. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to wear it for as long as I can until I feel like the makeup needs to be refreshed so it's a little after eight o'clock in the morning so I'm gonna wear this for a few hours and then we will come back and see what we're looking like so I'll see y'all in a little bit okay guys I am back I'm gonna be finishing up the wear test now because I've seen everything that I need to see from this foundation to be able to give y'all my final opinions on it and I'm being summoned to come and play in the snow and I'm actually looking forward to that so it is going on four o'clock now so I've had this foundation on for almost eight hours and look at my face I feel like I think my face looks really good I think for the most part my makeup looks like I just put it on like this is a really good wear for me I know some people look for more than eight hours but for me I just need a good six hours and that's pretty much all I need but I've had this on for like eight hours and I'm sure you guys can see that my forehead is a little shiny I do want to bring your attention to my nose now don't ask me how I missed this but when I was editing the first part of the video which was only a few hours ago I noticed that the bronzer on my nose was just like all over the place so I did try to fix that and then I did put a little bit of powder on my nose and I just wasn't thinking to not repowder my nose unfortunately but I will say that was about maybe like three or four hours ago that I put powder on my nose so for me this is pretty good for having put powder on a few hours ago and not having any shine but I'll say that before I put that powder on my nose was probably as shiny as my forehead and I also have just a little bit of shine on both sides of my nose so I'm getting shiny you know in the usual places which for me would be the t-zone but just keep in mind if I hadn't repowdered the nose my nose would be a little more shiny right now too but other than that I think my face looks good I feel like I don't have to refresh this if I don't want to but I am gonna go ahead and refresh um, the makeup on my forehead to see if we can get rid of the shine so normally I would go in and like block the excess oil off and then repowder I feel like I don't even have to do that I'm just gonna go back in with my Sephora powder and just put a little bit of powder on my forehead just to see what it looks like and yeah as expected that took down some of the shine and I'm also gonna put a little bit of powder on the sides of my nose I just decided to keep my glasses on just because so so yeah that pretty much took away the shine and I feel like this looks like what my face looked like at eight o'clock this morning I really like this foundation so even though it's the wrong shade for me I would still wear this like I would still wear it because I think it looks really pretty so I am probably gonna get this in another shade but I'm really not like too pressed about getting it in another shade at this point because I feel like this looks pretty good on me but let me know what you think do you think that I should go ahead and get another shade or just wait until like I run out of this and then they're probably going to extend the range at some point I'm hoping but I think this looks pretty good I will stand by what I said earlier that I think $14 is still kind of pricey for this I mean overall yes I would recommend it but I feel like they could have did like $10 for this you know I think 14 is just a little up there for elf but generally speaking yes I would recommend this especially Especially if you like the other elf foundation and if you like the it cosmetic CC cream definitely give this a try I think this is a really really nice product so I think that's all I had to say let me know what y'all think in the comments thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it please make sure you subscribe before you head out and I'll see y'all back here next time until then take care have a good one y'all bye